the proposed cooperation for heterogeneous robot teams method, or cohort for short, considers the co-deployment of diverse types of robotic systems, such as aerial and legged platforms, in challenging environments including underground mines, caves, metropolitan infrastructure and more. In such settings, teams of robots can coordinate and thus explore different parts of a large environment, while simultaneously aligning and merging their maps online. At any time, each robot builds a local submap of its surroundings. Each submap is built and maintained by each robot locally, and further shared to a central computational hub for its merging and alignment. Importantly, a volumetric occupancy map representation of the submap is available to enable planning tasks. Onboard each robot, wavefront propagation takes place and allows to detect the frontiers of the exploration space. The wavefront is propagated from the origin of the submap, which is the position of the robot at the time it starts building a submap. In this visualization, green voxels represent mapped free space, red are used for mapped occupied areas, dark blue for the location of the robot, and blue bell for the frontiers. The propagated wavefront for each submap is derived onboard and then sent back to the central computation hub by the respective individual robot. Furthermore, a bounding box around the current submap is calculated using the endpoints of the wavefront propagator. This bounding box is used in the next steps of the algorithm to provide the limits for sampling towards traversable points within the volume in a collision-free manner. Subsequently, points are sampled in the bounding box calculated in the previous step. Exploiting the occupancy representation, these points are checked to be collision-free. Those passing the check and thus being traversable are then added to a subgraph. Identifying collision-free edges within the submap, the points are then connected to form an undirected graph. This graph is sampled in the submap frame. Since in the centralized computational hub map alignment and merging takes place, any corrections to the transform of the submap are also carried over to the graph vertices and accordingly updates their global position. At the central computational hub, map merging and alignment is iteratively performed. Each submap's frontier point, and accordingly, frontier voxel, in the global frame is compared with the state of the global map at that point. If the submap frontier lies at a location on the global map where the state of the voxel is free, then this frontier voxel is deleted as it turns out that it no longer represents a global frontier. Once a frontier point is considered to be free, it is removed from the frontiers list and an optimistic assumption is made that this point will not be converted back to a frontier point. Therefore, once a frontier point is deleted, it then never goes back to being a frontier again, even after the maps realign. Visualizing this effect, Frontier voxels from both submaps that have been deleted on comparing with the other submaps that constitute the global map, are here shown in different color. The frontier points that retain their original color are still true frontiers of the global map. The remaining globally identified frontiers, based on the multi-robot team, can then be utilized by cohort to reposition the robots of the team towards the areas of the map most likely to enable efficient exploration. Upon arrival to such a global frontier, a robot can then exploit its onboard exploration planner and later query cohort again to ensure its actions are aligned with those of the other robot team members. We present how cohort can be combined with GB Planner 2 in a separate explanatory video.